I'm Michael Stevens and I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic. I specialize in the treatment of children with inflammatory bowel diseases such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. I'd like to talk about a recent research paper that was published in the Inflammatory Bowel Disease Journal uh, in January of 2014. This was a project done by a group of researchers in Toronto, Canada. The leaders are based at the Hospital for Sick Children. They wanted to study a, an important problem with a drug called methotrexate. Methotrexate is an immune modulating drug that we use to treat inflammatory bowel diseases, particularly Crohn's disease. All drugs have side effects, and an important side effect of methotrexate is liver toxicity. They looked at all of the published data involving children who were taking methotrexate for IBD, and they were able to pool this to create a large group of patients to analyze how often this happens. By, doing, by, by combining all 12 studies that are, that are available, they were able to look at a little over 450 patients. They found that the incidence of having evidence of liver irritation was about 10%. In a little over 6% of those patients, uh, that required that they have a, an adjustment of their dose. And in 4.5% of the patients, they had to discontinue the medication altogether. This is fairly similar to what our experience has been in adults with IBD. So what's important about this? Well, this is an important side effect of this medication and it highlights why it's important for us as physicians to monitor our patients who are on methotrexate for this reaction. It also highlights why it's important as a patient to follow through and, and, and participate in this monitoring. The way that we monitor for this is to do blood tests that, that look for enzymes that are elevated when someone has irritation of their liver. Another important concept is there are other things that can cause these liver blood test abnormalities. And it's important when a patient's taking methotrexate to consider whether it's related to their methotrexate or whether it's caused by something else. Two important examples in patients with IBD would be an autoimmune problem involving the liver that's associated with IBD. There are also other drugs, and one important example would be corticosteroids that can cause these changes.